What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video of uh, the TLC, the Learning Channel. We took a look at this uh, yesterday as well with someone who was addicted to bee stings, and now we're taking a look at someone who's addicted to eating face masks. Now, as someone who avidly used to put face masks on, I know that they're horrible. Like, I don't like how they feel. They make your skin go all stiff. It's hard to get off. You have to put it in your eyes, something that I don't like. And honestly, it's just, it's just not good i that is it, it's good for your skin but honestly ember i'm not watching this alone get back in your spot we're watching this together if i'm scared you're scared yeah me and you so yeah let's let's get into it no further ado again another american one they're all fucking american my name is natasha i'm 40 years old you wouldn't expect her to eat face masks if you saw her on the street, you just wouldn't expect it. I don't know. It always, like, the most normal looking people are the weirdest. That's what I've learned. That's all the learning channel has given me. The normalest looking people are the weirdest ones. And I'm addicted to eating play masks. I know, I know, the, I know what the title said. I know what the title said she was addicted to eating play masks, but it can't feel nice on your tongue. It starts off really wet and moist, and then it sort of hardens. Do you wait till it like hardens and then like crack it off in your mouth? <clears throat> she just downs the powder. She just downs the powder. Is she gonna snort it next? That that fucking thing could have like easily diced that shit up. Whatever she's scooping off could have diced it up quite nicely. I just had my tea. I am so glad that I finished before recording this video. It, that would dry out your mouth so fucking bad. I know there's health benefits to putting it on your skin. Is there health benefits to putting it in your stomach lining? Tastes wonderful. Bullshit. I am calling severe bullshit on that one. Like wet rocks, and it always comforts me. I kind of go into a zone and savor that flavor of that earthiness. Mm. It tastes like wet rocks. Why do you put wet rocks in your mouth? Why do you know what wet rock tastes like? That was a lot of information to take in. That was a lot of information to take in. Tastes like wet rock. It puts you in the zone. I know another type of rock that can put you in the zone a lot better than this. You know. I've never done that, by the way. For monetization purposes, I have never done drugs, and I never will do drugs, because drugs are bad. Kids don't do drugs. What the fuck? See, you put it on your face. Do you put it in... I know you put it in your mouth, I watch you lick it off your hand. Do you put it on your tongue? Do you like, when you're dabbing it on your face, you just dab it on your tongue as well? Get a quick little... Because this can't be like, filling. This can't be fulfilling for you. Just why? Don't give me that fucking cheeky smile. Natasha has been addicted to eating clay face mask for seven years. And she's still walking? And she is still walking. I know it always tells us how this starts to happen. There is a full episode in this, by the way. I'm only reacting to 2 minutes 20 seconds of it. But I do recommend that you go check out the Learning Channel. They're actual episodes. They're full, long-length episodes of My Strange Addiction. And you'll find a lot more out. Watching my reaction is no substitute to watching the series. By the way, definitely go watch the series for yourself. I'm just reacting to like little snippets of it. But 7 years eating face masks. That's got to be doing something to the insides. She's so hooked that she consumes up to a jar a day and even replaces meals with it. I said before that it couldn't be fulfilling. There is no fucking way you eat a jar for a meal. Face masks and beauty products are fucking expensive. It is a fucking pretty dime, a pretty penny that you are spending on this shit to just to fucking chow down. 
And the fucking mm, 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 that she's doing, I, I call bullshit. My mouth feels dry just from watching this. I just imagine, like, it feels like fucking pouring sand into your mouth. And, like, as in, like, little... You know when you're in the, in, at the ocean at the seaside and you accidentally what water accidentally gets in your mouth it's got, like, a little bit of sand in it and it has that, like, crunch to it? I imagine it's like that. The clay mask that I eat starts off in a very fine powder. Sort of like when you get sand in your mouth. When she first mentioned... Sand in your mouth, like I said. If she didn't fucking wipe her face, it looks like she was eating something else. It looks like she's eating or doing something else. To be fair, that would be someone's first instinct. It would be to to the devil's... No, it's not the devil's lettuce, is it? It's like some form, like magic flour. Magic sugar. Just no one's first fucking reaction would be, Oh my god, she's, eat she's eating clay masks. And you have a boyfriend. Ah, uh, key, key, key thing here. Boyfriend, not husband. Like last time, boyfriend. He still has a chance to opt out. And it took me, I thought it was a, a joke at first. Like, I mean, come on now, you eat what? There's some weird pleasure she's getting out of that. No one makes those weird moaning noises when eating clay masks. No one makes those weird moaning noises when eating anything. There's some th sick pleasure she's getting out of this. A thousand pounds of clay mask has gone through her digestive system. How many calories is that? How many calories is in face mask? Oh wait, no one ever fucking asked that question. Ever. So there is no answer. I just, I just don't imagine it be very good. I just don't... A thousand pounds. What the fuck? Two cups a day? So it's not one cup anymore, it's up to two. I mean, at some point your body has to build up a tolerance, surely. At some point your body is like, you know what? We can take this now. To start with it was a little hard, but now we can fucking take it. Sometimes I'll take a big scoop, sometimes I'll take a little bit, it just depends. But Natasha doesn't just eat the face mask straight out of the jar. She also dips chips in it and even relaxes every evening with clay mask and a beer. Cracking open a cold one with the boys has just got a whole new meaning. Cracking open a cold one with the boys and clay mask. And a clay mask. Beer and a clay mask. What? Well, I mean, the fucking... At least you're getting some fucking moisture in your mouth because that clay mask is going to dry it out come fucking completely. Because I swear you have to mix clay mask with water to get it fucking going. So, that's going to completely... Just get the fucking shit out of me. You know what? You can stay down there for that one. I always do see the after effects. You know, the lips are covered in. She does the stain with her tongue when she licks it off. Nothing. Oh, look at the way it fucking came out of her mouth again. Someone would think she was doing coke, not clay mask. My mouth tastes funny now. Yeah, it's a dust storm. Despite the mess, Natasha is so dependent on her face mask, she won't leave home without a stash. If I'm leaving, I'll take a jar. I couldn't drive without it. Can't drive without it? I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to eat and drive. Like, I'm pretty sure you need to be, like, 100% focused on the road. I'm not... I, uh, I genuinely feel sick. This is, like... How do you, how do you get into this? How do you start eating clay mask? I have never. Been, we normally get told how we start. We normally get told why, and like there, there is some guilty pleasures. This is not like a self harm thing like last time. 
it will probably cause a lot of fucking harm. But this is definitely like some sick guilty pleasure, just the way with she was moaning. And again, my four rules, as I say every time, as long as you're not hurting anyone else, as long as you're not hurting yourself, as long as you're not causing trouble and you're not doing anything illegal, it looks like you're doing something illegal, but it's not, it should be, but it's not, then all to you. That is the four, the four points that I make every time. And she has hit none of them. Like, she, she, she ticks on all of them. She, she's free to do as she pleases, because we have seen no health effects to this. There will probably be health effects, but as of right now, we don't know any. So it, it's all to her. But still, how, how do you get into something like this? I have taken a jar to work. They just shake their head and just make me feel so strange. Because you are. Because you are. You have it all over your lips. You are sat there looking like you're doing lines on your desk. You are doing lines on your desk and everyone is staring at you like, what the fuck is she doing? I agree with the others. I agree with the others. I would look in confusion at, at the first three times, but as you, like, continuously do it, I would stop looking in confusion and be like, oh, yeah, it's just, it's just fucking Natalie, I think her name is. Natalie, do it, doing her clay, doing her clay mask. No, she doesn't have to spread up the face. She, she, she masks the inner side of her stomach. Natasha turned to clay face masks seven years ago to satisfy a taste for rocks. I had a girlfriend who said that she had cravings like that. She says, put a little of this on your tongue. And so I tried it. And it was like instant gold. Instant gold. Instant gold. Instant gold. So someone's, you had a craving for rocks. That's why you tasted wet rock. That is, we got a answer. You have a weird craving for rocks. She said put it in your mouth. She never said swallow it. And she said put a little bit. A anything in moderation, fair enough. That is going to the fucking extreme. That is going above and beyond what she said. She said try a little bit on your tongue. Put a little bit of this on your tongue. She said a little bit. Not a fucking credit card's worth. Or a flyer's worth. Whatever she was... Scooped it out with. I, I don't actually know. It wasn't like a spoon. It wasn't a normal eating apparatus. It was a fucking piece of card that she saw contorted. Well, I'm never wearing a face mask again. And I'll see you all next one. It's probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow with another fucking weird reaction. I have an Instagram link in the description of this video. If you do want to send me more weird videos for me to react to. And I'll get on them. I haven't done reaction content on the channel for a while, but I'm starting to get back into it. Um, so yeah, send me send me all the stuff you want me to react to, and I'll I'll do it. I do trailer reactions on TikTok, so go there if you want if you, if that's what you want. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go have a normal meal now, a, a normal snack because I've had my my normal meal, and preferably not chow down on on clay. <laughs>